first step is to import the PDF file into QSCAD. I'll do this by saying I want to add a new drawing. I'm going to find the drawing, PDF file, I'm going to use the drawing for the engineer's drawing, and enter the revision. I've already looked at this PDF in the viewer, and I know that I need to rotate it by 270 degrees, and we can load it in and open it up. Once we've loaded the drawing in, we need to calibrate it using the known length. There are no dimensions on this drawing, but I have been able to ascertain from another drawing that this distance is 12.175 metres. There. And we need to tell the system that that's 12,175 millimetres. Now the drawing is loaded and ready to go. Step two is to load the required steelwork components from the steelwork library. You will see there's a comprehensive list of steelwork components included in the library. For this measurement I only need three of them. First one I need is universal beams. Next one I need is universal beams but numeric. And the third one I need is circular hollow sections, hot finished. Once these are loaded, we're ready to measure. We're going to start by measuring the portalized eaves beams. And we're going to use the universal beams component. It's a linear measurement. So we set the details of the line we're going to measure. So that we're going to use the universal beams component. In here we check we pick the section size, so it's 406 by 178 by 60. We set the type of member, so we're going to put in there that it's portalized ease beams. We can check the steel grade, that it's aspects horizontal. It's going to have surface preparation that's shot blasting, which is carried out off-site and surface treatment zinc phosphate primer, again carried out off site. We can choose which type of descriptions we want, so we have the standard descriptions and a percentage of fittings that we require. Now we can measure the lengths to which these settings apply. So we'll go from here to here. Another one from here to here. And another one from here to here. See, so each of those has got its own separate reference and is already listed in on the left hand side, the items that were generated. Now we can do the same for the portal rafters. All we need to do is change the settings over here. So we make these a different colour. We'll set them as portal rafters. This time we need to set their sloping with the pitch and their sloping at 8 degrees. Everything else remains the same. Again, we can start measuring now using those. Next we're going to measure the eaves beams, so we're going to change over here from universal columns to circular low sections. We pick the designation, we can't see the one we want and we can make it a bit wider. And we're looking for 139 by 0.7 by 5. We'll set it as eaves beams, it's hollow and it's circular. It's horizontal, there's shot blasting and zinc phosphate, and again we put our fittings on. We'll change the colour. Here.
Next we're going to measure the bracings, and these are also 139.7 diameter by 5, but this time they're not horizontal, they're sloping across the pitch, and the pitch is 8 degrees, and the angle across the slope is 30 degrees. I might change the line style to reflect that. Finally we can measure the columns and they are numeric items rather than lengths. So because these are numeric items we need to specify the length so that we can measure that. And I've checked on another drawing and these are 6.5 metres high. They're columns. Their section is 406. by 178 by 60. Again, add the fittings on. Step 4 is results. You may have noticed that QSCAD was generating the results in the list on the left hand side as we measured, but now we're going to look at some of the summaries it produces. First is the detailed summary. This is a full list of everything that's been measured and every result that's been generated by that measurement. We can summarise this further to see the total quantities measured for each type of member. We can also generate a summary based on SMM7 descriptions or NRM2 descriptions. Once we've generated our results, it's just a simple click to export them to Excel or MasterBill Elite.